We are now a week into stage two, and more than a month has passed since stage one began. By far the most common question that I am hearing these days is why the number of active cases has gone up and not down. This is a natural question. On Friday, June 5th, we had 339 active cases in the province. Today we have 512 active cases, with many of these occurring in the Edmonton and North Zones. This means we have about 173 more active cases than there were two weeks ago. I want to talk today about what this increase in cases means and what factors seem to be contributing to the spread of the virus. First, it is important to note that so far, our hospitalization rates have remained steady and actually have gone down slightly over the past two weeks. And as I have mentioned before, we did expect to potentially see an increase in cases during stage two as more Albertans began interacting in their communities. It's really important for Albertans to know how important masks are as a part of our overall strategy. That's been something that we did wait for the evidence to accumulate before we made recommendations and it's becoming increasingly clear that when people are in crowded spaces, when they're in places where there's many people who perhaps don't know each other, that masking is a very important measure to prevent the spread of transmission. I think the, the challenge of deciding whether or not to make something mandatory is determining, uh, again, how effective our strong recommendations are. We did relatively recently move towards this recommendation. I think it's too early to determine the impact of the recommendation. We're, again, working to make sure masks are available across the province through multiple methods of distribution. We are recommending that Albertans, when they're going to be in crowded public places or places where there's many people together, that they do wear this. And we want to give Albertans the opportunity to show that they are taking this, uh, this seriously, that they're being responsible for their actions, and that we are collectively able to prevent the spread. I think it's important for Albertans to remember that our ability to collectively prevent the spread of COVID-19 and keep our case count low is our best insurance against having to do any kind of mandatory measures in the future, whatever those mandatory measures might be, uh, because we know that if we have low transmission rates, we can continue to keep things open and potentially consider further expansion. The bottom line, though, is that anywhere people are gathered together, not distanced or wearing face masks, COVID-19 can easily pass from one person to the next. In some of the examples we have seen lately, the person who was the source of infection did not have symptoms at the time. They only developed illness later, yet they were infectious before their symptoms started, which enabled the virus to spread. As many Albertans make plans to return to working in person rather than remotely, Workplaces need to consider how they will ensure that distancing and masking, when needed, are firmly embedded in their return to the workplace strategies. We also have at least one example of transmission in an apartment building where we have identified 12 cases in a single building. At the moment, it seems that transmission is most likely to have happened through common high-touch surfaces, emphasizing the need for cleaning and disinfection of these surfaces. Today, we are also listing a new outbreak at the Materials Recovery Facility in the Edmonton Waste Management Centre. AHS is keeping a very close watch on every active outbreak, providing whatever testing and other support is needed. So what does this all mean? It means that the virus is still here and it is not going anywhere. It also means that even if we are feeling healthy and symptom-free, we all need to continue operating as though we could spread the virus to others and could catch it from those around us. This is not the time for complacency. We are not out of the woods yet and will not be for quite some time. We must all be vigilant in following the public health measures, particularly when indoors or attending any group event. By now, I believe most Albertans could recite my health advice in their sleep. Stay two meters apart, wear masks when you can't, get tested and stay home if you're feeling ill. The biggest lesson from the last two weeks is that we remain each other's best defense against the virus. Every Albertan has a role to play in keeping their friends, family and neighbors safe. This weekend, I challenge each Albertan to be the voice of leadership among your friends and family. 
it is a good thing to remind others of the health guidance in place and to promote good hygiene practices at a birthday party or family outing or wearing masks while out in public. Diligently following the public health measures in place means that you are being considerate and caring, not overcautious or afraid. Let's all see it as our personal responsibility to follow the measures and keep others safe. 